Hello, in this video, I will explain to you on how to find out the load resistance in which give the maximum average power. So our goal here is to find out the RL which gives the maximum power average. And so what is that power average? Vmax. So here the first thing that we need to do is to find out Thevenin equivalent. So we need to find out the Thevenin equivalent circuit. And remember, to find out the Thevenin equivalent, we need two things. The first one will be the Thevenin impedance or ZTH. And then the second one will be to find out the Thevenin voltage, which is to find VTH, right? Okay, the first thing that we need to do is to find out ZTH. Okay, let's do that. Find ZTH. How to find out ZTH? We turn off all the sources, right? Turn off sources. And in this case, we will have this replaced by short circuit right short circuit okay let's redraw the circuit then so i will have this replaced by short circuit and i will combine this into single impedance here and that is at plus j60 t plus j60 and the unit will be in ohm and then this one here is this one which is 90 in parallel with minus j30 good and what can we do from here okay we see this from this terminal here ab which is connected to the rl let's say ab is here so we see that the edge from this point here so we need to know what is the TH. However, I need to simplify this first because that is not in the mathematical sense, but this is in circuit notation. So we need to find out the value of this one first. And I will just use calculator for that. Okay, let's set up our calculator. Let's set up that as complex number calculator. So this button and then complex number calculator, which is number two. And because we need to calculate parallel impedance, we prepare the fraction here. And in the numerator, we multiply. So I will have 90 multiplied by minus 30i. And then in the denominator, I will have 90 and then plus minus 30i okay and i will have 9 minus 27i or i will have 9 minus j27 and the unit here will be in ohm but then from here we can calculate the th what is that th let's use another color so I will have ZTH, that means that we have this 9 minus J27, 9 minus J27, and that will be in parallel with that impedance here, which is AT plus J60. And again, we can just use calculator to calculate this, right? So let's take out our calculator and let's prepare the fraction here. In the numerator, we multiply. So I'll have 9 minus 27i. And then multiplied by 80 plus 60i. And then in the denominator, we add them. So we will have 9 minus 27i. And then plus, I will have 80 plus 60i and i think that's good so we will have our zth so that will be our zth 
and that will be 17.18 17.18 and then plus oh no minus minus j24 and then what is the decimal places 57 57 and the unit will be in ohm okay let's save that the h for now have that the h is equal to 17.18 minus j27.57 okay the unit will be in ohm here okay good now let's move on to the second thing that we need to find out which is the tevenin resistance okay let's move on to the second step which is to find out vth find vth okay i still keep this circuit for finding zth why because this is still helpful right what is vth vth is an open circuit voltage at ab so we take out this rl here and then we calculate the open circuit voltage but then we still have this voltage source so we we can draw that here so we still have that voltage source here which is 180 and the angle will be 60 degrees good and this is the circuit for finding out the Tevenin voltage what is the Tevenin voltage which is this one here so this is VTH and how to calculate that we can just use voltage divider right so we will have VTH is equal to this impedance here so I will have 9 point J27 and then divided by 9 minus j27 and then plus 80 and then plus j60 but then that is multiplied by 120 with the angle of 60 degrees good and now we can just plug this into calculator right so we will have this fraction here 9 minus 27i and then divided by 9 minus 27i here and then plus 80 plus 60i and then that is multiplied by 120 with the angle of 60 and that will be equal to this number here but we need to convert it into polar coordinate or in fasor representation so shift number two and number three okay we will have 35.98 so have 35.98 and the angle will be minus 31.91 minus 31.91 degrees so we will have our vth here vth is equal to 35 with the angle of 98 and then the angle will be minus 31.91 degrees the unit will be in volt good and now we can move on to the second step which is to find rl in which the average power is maximum okay how to do that that can be calculated using rl is equal to the magnitude of the th right but how to calculate that let's clean up the board first Okay, so to get the RL, we need the magnitude of ZTH. So RL is equal to the magnitude of ZTH. But we know ZTH, right? ZTH is this one here. So to get the magnitude, we square the real part here. So we will have 
17.18 square and then plus the imaginary part here which is minus 24.57 and that will be square and I think nothing that we can do other than plug this into our calculator right so we will have 17.18 squared and then plus minus 24.57 squared and that will be 29.98 and I think we can just assume that will be 30 ohm right so RL is equal to 30 ohm so the maximum power of maximum average power achieved when RL is equal to 30 ohm, right? But then the second question is what is that T max, right? So let's calculate T max. This is the last step that we need to do. So how to do that? First, we need to find out the current. And let's draw the Thevenin equivalent with this RL. So we will have our voltage source here which is 35.98 with the angle of minus 31.91 degrees and the unit will be in volt and then what is ZTH we have this ZTH right and that will be 17.18 and then minus J24.57 and the unit here will be in ohm but then we will have this resistance here which is 30 30 ohm and why we need to calculate that because we need the current that pass through this 30 ohm resistor let's name this current capital I and what is capital I? We can just calculate it using Ohm's law, right? We will have 35.98 with the angle of minus 31.91 degrees. And that is divided by this impedance. So I will have 17.18 and then minus J24.57. And then plus 30. Good. And just leave it into our calculator. So we will have 30, 35.98. And with the angle of minus 31.91. Divided by 17.18. And then minus... 24.57i and then plus 30 okay and let's convert that into polar coordinate so we will have the current here that will be 0 0.676 okay 0 0.676 with the angle of minus 4.40 minus 4.40 and the unit will be in ampere but here is the important part which is we can calculate the p max the formula is one half multiplied by the magnitude of i squared multiplied by rl okay and we will have one half and then the magnitude is this one here right so we will have this one here so we'll have 0 0.676 and that is squared and then that is multiplied by rl our rl is 30 so we'll have 30 and then so we can have our p max here let's calculate this using our calculator so we will have one half one half multiplied by 0 0.676 squared 
and then multiplied by 30. And I will have 6.85. So I will have 6.85. And the unit will be in what? Okay. And that is the final answer for this question. So the RL is 30 ohm. And then the Pmax is 6.85. And I think that's all for this problem. Hopefully I did not make any mistakes in my calculation. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.